Hey guys, Trace here again today. Today, I'm going to be showing you my custom retaliator number two. You might have seen my video where I made this little grip thing out of the orange piece that was coming across here. And then I took the barrel off there. But, I've done something else. So, first thing that I've done is I just took a paper clip right there and bent it for a sight. You can't really see it. Sorry, sorry that it's so bright. Let's see, how are we gonna get it? Let's see. You can't really see it. Here, maybe I'll turn it this way. The paper clip um, sight. So that's the one thing. Now the next thing is you might have seen some rubber bands on there. Now you used to have to go boom boom, but now only you have to pull it back. Wait, done. It does make it a little harder, so. But you, all you gotta do is put that and you can let it go. So, all right, let me take the paper clips off, uh, the rubber bands off. See? No, it doesn't do that now. You have to do that. Let me show you how to do it real quick. So, it's very simple. Paper, paper, take a paper clip and then bend it like this. And then take two rubber bands about this size right here. Put them together and then put it on our tactical rail. Whoa, what just happened? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? It's not working. Oh no. Okay. Just take them like that. Actually, it makes it act like it's one, but it's really two. Put it on like that, on that tactical one there. I'm just gonna stretch it out to the barrel, like that, and just snap it on, and there you go. So that is the custom retaliator part two. If you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.